Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. I've got Matt here with me from Ballistic Inc. And we're here in the beautiful East Tennessee up at Spartan Hunting Preserve. And we're gonna be going after some big old rams this morning. Uh, there's some black Hawaiians, some different varieties of these rams that we're gonna be going after. Um, it's a huge preserve that they got over here in East Tennessee. So they do have some cool exotics. Uh, we'll probably will be getting into some hogs at some point, but in this particular video, we're gonna be going after rams. Uh, the meat quality is pretty good, so we're definitely going to get some table fare. And Chad and I will end up doing a Manly Meals episode later on how we're going to prepare these things and eat them. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be getting on that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the rigs that we're going to be running here. Um, I will be shooting a Romanian PSL. This one's been highly customized by Chase from Definitive Arms. Uh, it's got this real wicked Marvin the Martian muzzle break here on the end of it. Uh, we've got a Texas Weapon Systems top cover mount here on this particular gun. We're shooting 150 grain soft point ammunition, so relatively affordable factory soft point ammunition that you would uh, come to use in anything chambered in 54 rimmed. On this uh, particular gun, we're running an Arkin 6 to 24 by 50. Uh, this particular one has an illuminated reticle, first focal plane. Uh, Chad and I have done quite a bit of videos on this particular optic. Um, and it's been holding up really great. We wanted to try it kind of in a hunting situation. It has been raining, there's been a lot of moisture, so we're kind of subjecting this thing to the elements a bit, um, trying to see what these Arkins can really do when they're out in uh, you know, a hunting situation. Now, uh, Matt here, he's running a Daniel Defense DD5 uh, V4. This is a really nice 762 by 51, so we're pitting the AR platform against the uh, giant AK here the in the com PSL. Block. Yeah, yeah com block. You are running a SDN6 from AAC. Uh, you got a Magpul sling on this particular rifle. Uh, you are also wearing a 6 to 24 Arkin. That's right. Uh, so, really nice optic. I do like the level on there, which the yep. shots that we're going to be taking, we're not going to be shooting very far. Right, but it definitely looks cool. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's half of it, right? You well, can you can like dial that. down to six and that's be able right. to shoot close range, no problem. Uh, they do make the same scope in a four to 16, which probably would have been maybe a little bit better fit for an AR. But, you know, even though it is the higher magnification version of it, it's really not difficult to maneuver and work with. And then you've also got the illuminated reticle, which I find to be very useful for hunting situations. Yep. If you're in a low light situation, a low light shot, you know, having the illuminated reticle is kind of handy. Yeah, and having zero stop uh, turrets, just having a rugged optic overall is really going to help, especially in this environment. It's wet, it's muggy, it's slippery, you know, things happen. So it's, it's just good to have that nice have rugged Have you ever um, hunted rams before? No, this is my first time. Yeah. So. Well, I know there's a lot of different ways to do it. I mean, some folks will like go and climb up mountains and everything, and, mm -hmm. and they'll go way, way out in the wilderness. Um, this particular situation, you know, we are on a, on a, a private, preserve here Correct, yeah so we're not like going in for days on end and stalking these things i believe it's relatively um it is you know a, well we, it, in their defense it is over a thousand acres so it's right. a, it is a thousand acre preserve so there is some level of having to find them and spot them um, but no you are not tracking it for right. three or four days over mountainous terrain we're going to get in the woods and see if we can shoot some of these rams i'm yeah. excited i've never done this before the ammunition that you are running in the daniel defense is some of the spear 180 grain uh law enforcement ammo um it's their gold dot uh you know le ammo so that's a 180 you're running and i'm running 150s well i guess we'll see who wins all right may the best man win let's do it roger that <laughs> stand this morning we're hoping that some rams are going to come in i got matt here with me running the dd i'm running the psl so we're going to see what happens and so we've got our illuminated reticles on it's still pretty early so uh just gonna have a look and see what comes in and uh see if we can get on a ram or two let's do it
Good shot. Good shot. You got it. All right, man. Dude, this break on this PSL is absolutely obnoxious. Oh my god, I'm, I'm deaf. Oh. Was the ball not on the way in battery? Yeah. So see, all those AR-15s are actually not as good as an AK-based platform. I think we just proved it. Right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Matt connected with a black Hawaiian here. It's a good-looking ram. Oh yeah. Uh, mine is a mix between a. Black Hawaiian and a paint ram, I've been told, so it's sort of a mix here, but uh, mine's not quite as big as uh, Matt's there, but a couple of nice looking rams there, and of course the rounds that we were using did just fine. He's shooting 180 grain bullets out of a 308, and I'm running the 54 rimmed with the 150 grain soft points. You, you, had, you had a little kerfuffle there. What, what happened? Yeah, uh, rookie mistake. We went for the press check before the shot, bolt didn't seat forward correctly and I had to rack the slide. Luckily we're running suppressed so uh, the second shot was was pretty good. We were trying to be cool and count it down like grown-ups but uh, <laughs> hey that's okay you know sometimes that, that, you know, that happens. Mistakes were made but we still uh, we still got what we wanted. Yep. So. Yeah I really like the illuminated reckle. I think for um, for like hunting purposes I probably prefer the the 4 to 16 yeah. Arkin, but the uh, 6 to 24 didn't do too bad. And, uh, you know, ever since Chase at Definitive Arms uh, did all the work on this PSL, I've been wanting to, uh, you know, put together a piece of content with it and maybe put together a hunt. So this is a really interesting opportunity. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, I mean, the cool. optics performed amazingly well. Uh, super clear glass, the illuminated reticle, like you said. And once you, uh, for hunting purposes, once you dial it down to the lowest setting, it, it works perfectly fine. And you happy with this rifle? Oh, absolutely. I mean, other than the than my own, you know, <laughs> my own mistake, uh, everything worked out great. Good shot, Chad. Good shot, good shot. Yeah, you got him. You got him. Yeah! Take a pick. Good shot, man. All right, how you feel, Chad? That's your first ram? First ram. And uh, mine's bigger. He has always one up me. Everything, <laughs> everything Chad does, he's always got to one up me. That's uh, okay. Wow, that's a beautiful ram, man. That's gonna be some nice meat. Mm -hmm. Good meat for the fridge. A nice mount. Nice way to remember this hunt today, and uh, really cool. And uh, we have a hog over there getting it on. I guess he's uh, he had his uh, morning uh, his morning uh, breakfast, and he wants a little dessert to go along with it. <laughs> That's okay. Stand, stand humor. <laughs> well, nature uh, will always run its course, right? Indeed. <laughs> Awesome. Well, this was cool. All right. So after, you know, having slept on it a little bit after yep. the hunt, you know, everything was really awesome with the Rams. How'd you feel about the Rams? I, I thought it was great. Um, you know, they, we got set up. Uh, it was raining a little bit, uh, as you could see. And, you know, they, the Rams came in. We, we waited a little bit, get a, a one with some good headgear on it. And uh, I think it worked out beautifully. Yeah, other than your little issue with the DD. So you did yeah. a press check with the DD and the bolt didn't go all the way back in the battery, huh? Correct, yeah. So, um, you, <laughs> you know, when you get handed a rifle and you want to make sure everything is... I didn't personally rack that, so I just wanted to double check to make sure there was a round in the chamber. 
um, and I failed to remember that you really have to make sure on an AR-10 rifle that that bolt is all the way forward, uh, and that's what uh, I messed up on, and I just went to, to pull that trigger and nothing happened. Right. Without a sound in the world. So, so the moral of the story is always do your press checks before you get settled in That's the stand. Right. Make sure you got your rounds chambered, everything's good to go. You don't want to have to mess with that when it comes to you know time to shoot. And that's okay. Yeah, we learn those things over time. I like the way that DD sounds with the can. It's nice oh, and quiet. super quiet. Uh, that's a nice rig. You know, I, I have to admit, I was a little bit underwhelmed by the performance of those uh, those 168 grain spears. As was I. I was surprised because I had higher expectations for how that round would perform. And, um, you know, it performed admirably. Yeah, but yeah. It just didn't perform the way that I thought something with that brand recognition would. Well, that 150 in the 54R though, to be a you know $1 hunting bullet, it did really, really good. Absolutely. I was very impressed with the way that PSO performed on the uh, on the Ram, because they're really tough animals. Yep. You know, they do require a good shot to get in the right spot. You know, they're very hardy animals. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research on that spear load because I wonder if maybe it's meant to be more barrier blind and more for like automotive glass and walls. Mm -hmm and different things like that, and maybe that's where it's meant to really excel, and not so much just on a soft skin game or you know game animals or things like that. So right. you know, may, maybe maybe that merits some research. Um, not all of your hunting projectiles are, are made you know, to the same type of, uh, of a standard. You know, you don't always get the same thing out of them. I do like that Hornady Superformance. Mm -hmm. I've, I've shot quite a few deer with that load, the 150 grain load, so. That, that'd probably be a good one to try on those rams and those hogs, for yeah, sure. Yeah, and I was really surprised that that 50R, 54R outperformed um, the yeah. 165s. I oh, mean, yeah. if you would have said to me, hey, this PSL is going to outperform uh, a, a DD5, I've been like, I don't know about well, that. Well, the bullet selection's everything. So I, right. I think it was really interesting to see how those two bullets stacked up against each other on you know being very similar shots and everything like that. Yep. So. That was a pretty interesting result, but uh, I really enjoyed my time up here. It was a lot of fun. Everybody's real cool. The lodge is great. The accommodations are great. The yep. food is good. They've all been they've all been great around here. Yep. Uh, Mitch and uh, Lico, all the guides, um, the owner of the preserve, all been world yep. class. Yep, very good experience, and I've um, had a lot of fun doing it. So, uh, really want to thank you guys for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We have many more hunts on the way. We've got a lot of deer hunting stuff to do. Uh, we'll probably do some more exotics and things. Uh, there's plenty of hunting videos coming up uh, for the fall here that we'll be shooting, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we hope you guys will stick around. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you click that notification bell. Um, also, a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Go over to Ballistic Inc., pick yourself up a snazzy t-shirt. That's right. And uh, those are ways that you can support the channel if you wish. Many more on the way, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, have a good everybody. one.